This is home. Way 31 Hometown News starts now. Breaking news, Governor Robert Bentley is a no-show for testimony that was ordered by State Auditor Jim Ziegler. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. I'm Meredith Wood. And I'm Justin McFarland. Way 31's Jeff Martin has been live in Montgomery all morning long, was in the room with Ziegler as he was waiting for the governor. He joins us live outside the state capitol with the very latest on this. Jeff. Guys, the state auditor Jim Ziegler was not that he was surprised because the governor's office said in a statement last week to media that he would not be in attendance. But Ziegler's office had never received anything from the governor saying if he would be there or if he would not be there. So when Ziegler sat down in his chair this morning at 10 a.m. with a Bible to swear in the governor, he was fully expecting the governor to walk in the door. But the governor didn't. Ziegler took questions from media where he said that his next step in the whole process is going to Montgomery Cir Circuit Court and filing what's called a writ of mandamus. Now, a writ of mandamus is what happens when a state or when a state judge orders a state official to do their job. In, Governor's Bent in Governor Bentley's case, it's to appear before the state auditor and answer his questions. Now, the other interesting thing about what happened today is while Ziegler was speaking and talking about how he had never personally met the governor, claiming that, the governor's communications director from elsewhere in the state capitol was live tweeting a rebuttal to everything Ziegler was saying, including a photo of Ziegler and Bentley at a campaign event. Ziegler's claim that, that, that he never actually met the governor there, that the governor, quote, rolled in with his entourage and stood next to him and gave a quick speech and then he left. Ziegler continues to stand by that this is not personal against Governor Bentley, that it is only trying to figure out how state funds were used. The governor is in Haleyville later today. I'll be there to ask him questions about why he wasn't there, and we'll see if he responds. At the state capitol, Jeff Martin, Way 31, Hometown News. Jeff, I just have to ask a question. We've been hearing rumors that the state auditor was asking questions to the empty chair there in the room. Can you confirm that that was actually happening? He, it was not, he did not do it as if he was going to conduct a questioning. Someone asked him if he assumed that it would be like Clint Eastwood at the 2012 Republican National Convention, answering, asking and answering questions to an empty chair. Ziegler did about two minutes of that, kind of playing along with a couple reporters who asked, asking the governor if, what his name was, sw fake swearing him in. It was more in jest than actual, but I will admit for all the reporters in the room, it was a pretty amusing moment. All right. Thanks very much, Jeff. We appreciate it.